Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at the Western Mountaineering Mighty Light Down Sleeping Bag. This bag comes from Western Mountaineering's Extreme Light Series. It has an extremely light outer shell fabric. It weighs 0.9 ounces per square yard. It's a nylon ripstop and it's a 20 denier fabric. It's very breathable and it's got a little water resistance to it. It can handle a little beating, but after that it's going to soak through, so just be aware of that. Super light. The weight of this bag specs at 1 pound 10 ounces. I did not weigh this bag before I had it overfilled. I sent it in, had them overfill it. It came back noticeably puffier. Um, I weighed it and it weighs 1 pound 8.5 ounces, so it weighs less than their stated weight even after having been given a couple ounces of overfill. This is an amazing little sleeping bag. Its stated loft is three inches thick. Mine is at least four and a half inches thick on all the baffles. I've been super impressed with this bag. I don't do a whole lot of warmer weather camping but this actually can take me down into some really low temperatures. Um, I was really proud of myself bragging how I had slept in 23 degrees in this bag with just the base layer and some uh, down pants on. Later, I had an opportunity. I went out on the back porch, threw this pad down, and uh, I slept in three degrees. And I did it um, with an expedition base layer. I had merino wool top to bottom, and then I was covered in a layer of down top to bottom. So I had two good layers on top of me, but this thing kept me warm in three degrees Fahrenheit, which is amazing. It's rated to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's four degrees Celsius. Um, it's very compressible. Uh, it fits into Western Mountaineering's extra, extra small stuff sack. It's six inches in diameter and 12 inches long, and I'm sure you can compress that much smaller into a little ball in your pack. It's an amazing bag. I mean, I could open it up and use it as a comforter. It's a semi-rectangular design, so it's got a zipper that goes across the bottom. Um, that's kind of nice. You can open up that zipper to vent your feet, or you can open up that zipper and the side zipper and open it all the way up and use it as a comforter. So there's a lot of versatility to this bag. It's a $460 bag, March of uh, 2024, um, so it's not cheap. But uh, man, I take this with me just in case. And I'm gonna show you something really cool that this bag can do. This is my Western Mountaineering Cypress, the coldest rated bag I have. Now we have a mighty light inside of a cypress. Now I've gotten in this thing with this two bag setup like this and it continues to get higher. I've got more loft in it than if I didn't have the mighty light in there, about three inches more loft. So I'm not really compressing the down much, but I am creating an even tighter environment inside this bag to stay warm. Um, I'll never need that. But what's cool is it comfortably fits inside of here with a one inch gap all the way around. So it's not like it's stuffed in there. It fits in there perfectly. It also fits inside my bristle cone and my Sequoia. And not only does the Mighty Light fit in those bags, 
of my sycamore is the same size as the Mighty Light, um, and it'll fit in these bags as well. Not that I'll ever need it, but hey, this is why I don't need a bison at minus 40 degrees. I couldn't imagine getting cold in any situation with this set up. Okay, back to the Mighty Light. <clears throat> now this bag features a continuous baffle design. Uh, these baffles, the down in them are uninterrupted from zipper to zipper. So you can open it up and shake it all the down to the top side of the bag if it's gonna be a cold night, or you can shake it down to the bottom side of the bag if it's gonna be a hot night. Or if it changes in the middle of the night, you can just flip the bag over and have your less downy side up. This is only offered in one size, six foot three, um, supposed to fit a six foot three person comfortably. I'm about five ten and a half, and uh, I've got a couple inches left in the bottom there. It only comes in one zipper configuration because you turn it over, it's the same bag, only it's right zip now. Except you got a tag at the top. Ooh. But this is a super little bag to have. I mean. Holy cow. I mean, what it can do for the price and the size and the weight is awesome. Um, like I say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to count on this fabric to do much more than just beat up a little bit before it starts wetting through. But super light, you know, really, really just feather light. I mean, I've taken this out camping and I've set it on the cot. And uh, as you can see there, a uh, uh, Tough air, uh, a little breeze picks up and just balloons this thing right up. You know, take it, uh, take it sailing into the stratosphere if I didn't grab it. But anyways, I like this little sleeping bag. Um, it's really light. It's really compressible. And man, what a temperature range! You know, from 60 above to zero if you had to, and you had some layers on. But I mean. That's a lot more than three inches of loft, people. That is a lot more than three inches of loft. But that's what Western Mountaineering does. They, they are very conservative in their ratings of everything. Um, they're conservative with what they tell you about the down. Um, all of the materials are the best available globally. Um, they really do search out the best. Their material is custom made for them with a balanced warp and weft. They, they just require that. So these bags really are cut above the rest. They're very expensive, but this is a good choice. Um, uh, my son's got a Megalite. Um, we got some of the other bags, um, but this is my favorite. I mean, it does everything I could ever want it to do, um, short of deep winter stuff, and I'm prepared for that already. So. Um, this is just another bag in my arsenal. Um, it's a really nice bag. Um, so if you're looking for a two season bag or even pushing it to a two and a half season bag, um, this one warrants the checking out. So if you like this little review of my Western Mountaineering Mighty Light sleeping bag, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. And also leave a comment. Um, I can talk about sleeping bags all day and I'd love to hear what you got going on. So until the next video, be safe and have fun out there.